Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at solving quadratic equations by substitution. This is roughly about grade 7 GCSE. Please do download the worksheet, stop the video, have a go at each of the questions, compare your solutions. I look forward to seeing you inside the video. Okay, so a slight change of pace now where we're on to question number three. Now you'll notice it says give your answer correct to two decimal places. So what that indicates is that we need to actually use the quadratic formula or actually completing the square in order to complete this particular one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same technique, but then when it comes to factorising, I'm going to use the quadratic formula. So what I'm going to say is that y equals 2 minus x. So I'm going to say that value of 2 minus x substituted into here. Okay, so what I'll end up with is going to be x squared plus 2 minus x multiplied by 2 minus x and that equals 9. And then when I expand that out, I'm going to get x squared plus 4 minus 4x plus x squared equals 9. Tidy that up a little bit and we can get this 2x squared minus 4x and that's going to be minus 5 equals 0. Now we're in a position that we can factorise it but unfortunately we can't factorise it as simply as we could, well I'm not sure about simply but as easily as we could with the previous couple of questions. Okay so unfortunately with this we're going to need to use the quadratic formula. I'm going to say that a equals 2, uh, b equals minus 4, and c equals minus 5, then really it is a case of just putting this directly into the formula itself. I'm going to write the formula out as x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. Okay, so now using brackets, and I do suggest you use brackets. Now the reason being is because, because we've got minus and minuses, that's going to become a positive. Likewise, when we go to this area here, which is called the discriminant, we've got minus 4 squared minus 4 times a which is 2 and b which is minus 5. So all of these minuses flying around in here is going to cause us a little bit difficult difficulty unless we sort of treat them fairly carefully. Okay, so what we've now got is minus and minus is going to be a positive, so 4 plus or minus the square root. Now this is minus 4 squared, which is 16, and then we've got minus 4 times 2 is minus 8, and minus 8 times minus 5 is going to be positive 40, and that's divided by 4. So now we've got two values of x. Our first value of x is when x equals 4 plus the root of 56 all divided by 4. And the next value of x is when x equals 4 minus the root of 56 all divided by 4. And then really it's just a case of using um, these values and substituting them into our original y equals 2 minus x in order to get our values of um, y as well. So when I calculate all of this out, I'm going to get x equals 2.8708. Okay, and if I substitute for y, I'm going to get y equals 2 minus x, which is therefore going to be minus 0 0.8708 as well. Okay, with this one, I'm going to get x equals minus o. 0 0.8708 and then when I substitute for y I get y equals 2.8708. Now you'll note from the original question it's two decimal places so I would write this as when x equals 2.87, y equals minus 0 0.87, and when x equals minus 0 0.87, y equals 2.87, and that's all to 2dp. Okay, hopefully that's okay for you. If you're not sure about any of those, do let me know, and um, I'll try to point you in the right direction. So let's move on then to question number four. Now, in question number four, slightly different again. Again, what I'm trying to do in these videos is to give you a lot of experience of the different types and ways in which you could ask questions. So I try not to do too much repetition, but they all are vaguely different to one another. This one's slightly different because really we're in a position where we're going to have to deal with fractions. So what I would do is I would substitute for y and I'm going to basically say that y equals, uh, if I kind of change this around the other way, I'm going to get um, 
2y equals minus 1 minus 4x. OK, and then I'm going to get y equals minus 1 minus 4x all over 2, which is pretty horrible. And we need to use that to substitute into our initial equation here. So it's going to be very awkward because we're going to take this and we're going to put it there as substitute for x. So what we'll end up with is minus 1 minus 4x all divided by 2. And that equals x squared plus x minus 7, okay? And then really it's a case of substituting and solving that for x. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this 2. So if I multiply both sides by 2, what I'm going to end up with is minus 1 minus 4x equals, and this lot is all going to be multiplied by 2. So therefore, I'm going to get uh, 2 times x squared plus x minus 7. Right, now, now, all of that then needs to be made equal to zero. And I'm going to skip a few steps here. But again, as I've mentioned before, because we're looking at sort of higher levels, grade eight ish, we need to be, you know, a bit more sort of aware about how these things work. OK, so I need to make it equal to zero. So I know that's going to be 2x squared. I've also got plus 2x minus 14. I'm going to bring these over. It's going to be plus one plus 4x. OK, so tidy that up a little bit and I'm going to get 0 equals 2x squared plus 6x minus 13. Now, once again, I know that's not going to factorise easily. So therefore, I'm going to use the quadratic formula to do that. I'm going to say that a equals 2 b equals 6 and c equals minus 13. And then if I write the quadratic formula out, I suggest you do. I know that they are quoted on the uh, exam papers, but it is worthwhile learning this particular formula, particularly for GCSE. Um, and it just makes your life a little bit easier if you've got a bit of confidence in how you're using it. So what I'm going to do, as I did before, is substitute with brackets plus or minus the square root of, that's going to be 6 squared minus 4 times a, which is 2, and c, which is minus 13. And that's all divisible by 2 times 2, which is 4. OK, so a little bit of an awful one, but basically it, it, it calculates in the same way because we are doing calculator type problems. It's not too bad. You're going to get two values of x. You're going to get when x equals minus 6 plus the root of 140 all divided by 4. And that's basically that x equals 1.45803. OK, and then you would take that value of X and you would substitute it into this awful uh, formula at the top here. But when you've done that, you should get then a value of Y that's going to equal to minus 3.42. OK, or 3.41607. OK, so to two decimal places, and uh, it hasn't asked for that in the question, but it's close enough. X equals 1.46 and y equals minus 3.42. OK, that would be the answer to that one, where we've got a positive value. OK, so let's have a look at the case where we've got a negative value. x equals minus 6 minus the root of 140, all divided by 4. Put all that into a calculator. You're going to get that um, x equals uh, minus 4.458. OK, and then again, substitute for y and I'm going to get y equals 8.416079. OK, so therefore to two decimal places, so x equals minus 4.46 and y equals 8.42. And that would be the answer to that particular question. OK, I do appreciate that was quite challenging. OK, so that's the end of these first few questions. Please do follow the link that will take you through to the rest of the playlist for the rest of the questions on this particular topic. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.